Hello and welcome to uh, Interview Daily. Uh, my name is Dalton and right here we're going to be interviewing Arjun S. about the Google car that California has legalized in its state. All right now, Arjun, Arjun, are you aware of the Google car? Um, yes, I am. Uh, do you believe it's safe for a robot to be driving? Um, I don't think so because they don't have the same type of reflex as humans do. Mm -hmm. So they may not know what's dangerous and what's not dangerous. So other, other drivers may crash into them and the car might just go on like nothing had happened when it's not safe to continue moving. Mm. Uh, do you think the model looks good? Um, yes, I do. Do you think it looks good? Yeah. Looks do you think it looks efficient? It looks like it will move, it, it'll be efficient in carrying people, but its movement might not be as efficient as, as its aerodynamics don't look very Okay. Right, thank you. We'll be back with Erdong Chen after the break. Thank you. All right, welcome back. We're here with Dr. Erdong Chen from the China, right? So I'm going to be asking you a few questions about the Google car. Uh, you you do know that it functions on its own, right? Yes. So I'm aware. Yeah, I, I just wanted to know what's your opinion uh, about humans and robots driving together on the road. That is just completely idiotic. You have humans, a race, so young, yet so stupid, and then you have robots driving. Robots are known to make mechanical errors, and then when you combine it with people who make errors on their own, you're just going to result in chaos. Chaos. Right. So, what do you feel since uh, there is uh, another generation of cars coming on, self-driving cars? Should people just sit aside and uh, tell the robot what to do, or should people be the ones driving, as both do make errors? Well, it depends, because machines, they make technical errors, but humans, well, they're just plain stupid. So, you can either just have humans sitting at the wheel doing everything, or have robots doing everything. Because then the robots could like communicate using uh, who knows like telephone, call each other, and communicate, have links. But then with humans, you would have to be like physically engaging a call, which would further distract you. So I think it would be better if we just had only robots driving. W would you buy a Google car? No, you wouldn't personally. No, I personally wouldn't. All right, thank you. Uh, after the break, we'll be back with Charlie Chick Mong Kong Suk. So we're back again with uh, Charlie, and his last name is too long, I can't say it. So, uh, yeah, I'm just going to ask you some questions about a new car that has come out. I just want to show you on this picture. Uh, what do you think about the car? Oh, um, it looks great and should be used for transporting a lot of people. Yeah. Yep. There's uh, new uh, robots that are um, going to drive this car. Do you think that is uh, uh, appropriate? Um, I'm not sure robots have a sense of what's going on around them, and if the car crashes and someone gets hurt, it might just drive on. Yeah. Would you uh, personally buy that car? Um, not with really. The, with the robot, I mean, like, together? Not really, because, um, no. So you wouldn't let the robot drive? No, I think it's dangerous. Okay. Alright, that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed, and uh, see you next week.